Hey YouTubers, TJ here. Real quick video. I had to make a, a lathe carriage stop. I've always wanted one. And again, I'm not a machinist, so I made this with basically junk I had laying around. I started out with, uh, I have a South Bend 9, pretty small lathe. I started out with a uh, piece of angle here, as you can see. This was angle, and then I milled this piece here. And then I also had to make a, a spacer. So I used some flat stock I had laying around and I welded the flat stock to the angle. So this fits on the on the the lathe itself. And then I turned up a piece of I don't know L14, 12L14. And I drilled it out for a 3/8 bolt through hole here. And what this does is this actually pinches the base of it. I'll get to the, how I made the base in a second. This actually pinches the base of it on the lathe, on the lathe bed itself when you screw this down. And it allows you to use it as a carriage stop. It's when you pinch that down, it pinches the bottom bed of the lathe ways itself into here. So I also made the base, found some scrap laying around. This actually had a hole in it. I just, it was the same size hole here. I just drilled and tapped it with, it was amazingly in the same spot for the, for this in order to pinch up on the lathe ways itself. Uh, I drilled and tapped it 3 h 16. I also had the piece of hex stock laying around because I needed to uh, match the height of the carriage itself. So, uh, again, I didn't drill and tap anything. I just TIG welded some real quick TIG welds here and here. And um, I cross drilled and tapped this piece here for a 3 8 bolt. It's pretty tight. What I did is what I wanted, I didn't want to put a pinch bolt in here, a pinch nut in here. So when you screw this down, it gets very tight towards the end here because I didn't fully tap it all the way through. I used a... Um, I didn't use a bottoming tap, I just used a starter tap and I kind of ended at the end. You know, I didn't go all the way through it. So this is very tight. So you can tighten it up and your carriage hits and doesn't move. I also machined the front of the bolt here, the head of the bolt, so it's flat. And before I welded it, I made sure it was all lined up with the carriage itself. Probably in the next video, I'll show you how, how the carriage stop works. Um, I'm setting this all up for I want to be drilling some spacers uh, that are radial drilled and have certain depths. Uh, that's why I also made my indexing plate as well. You can see my other video on my indexing plate. I did copy um, a YouTuber called Steve Jordan. He's uh, He actually made a couple of these as well. He machines a lot of parts. I don't machine a lot of parts. I try not to. I just slap some stuff together and I weld it together. Uh, I do machine some, but this didn't require a lot of machining at all. Just s some hair drilling the holes and um, just a little bit on the lathe here for this and drill and tap in this hole. Otherwise, this is all just uh, rough cut stuff and uh, it works pretty good. If you have any questions, uh, send me a, a comment, a like, and subscribe. Thank you.